Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a card of someone who's showing up as independent, self-sufficient, and um, doing well for themselves. Um, you are being seen as someone who's very respectable and someone who is high quality. Um, someone is thinking very highly of you with this energy here. Um, but there is also this, this energy um, that you're exuding of being you know, happy on your own, being able to take care of yourself, being, you know, that independent energy here. Um, there's also an energy of someone who sees you as very valuable. Like um, they see you as someone who's luxurious and you're being esteemed very highly here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the King of Wands, Fire Energy, the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy, and we have the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy. So we have a lot of fire. So with the King of Wands, this is showing up as someone who um, is uh, showing up in their masculine energy. This person is a passionate person and it looks like they have a vision here. Um, this person could be wanting to pursue you because you also have the Eight of Wands, which is an energy of uh, forward movement, lots of communication here, wanting to progress things here and being quite determined. So this person, they, they do show up as being a charming person, a charismatic person, and um, they, they look like they have their sights set on you here. Um, you could be hearing from this person. Um, we're seeing a lot of passion here, a lot of communication here. And this is someone who has intentions. You know, it's not just talking to talk. It's like they have a goal, they have a vision, and they're very set on achieving it here. With the Seven of Wands, it's, it's almost like if you already know this person, they feel like they have to fight for you. They feel like you are very independent and happy on your own, like you don't need anyone. It's the energy you have, you're giving out here, and they feel like they need to protect their uh, connection with you for some reason. Um, the Seven of Wands can show someone who feels like they need to defend their territory or they, um, they, they want to fight for something here. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So there's definitely an energy here of someone who wants to put in effort. They want to build something long-term with you. They are also seeing you as someone they want to invest in. They want to inv invest in some sort of a future with you. But there's also a feeling here of uh, moving, you know, taking steps, but also not rushing anything. Like... Um, this person wants to invest, but they, they want to build something um, long term, you know, so they are focusing on the details. Yeah, I do see them communicating and wanting to progress the connection. But at the, the Seven of Pentacles, there's a message here about patience or taking something slow, being careful with something, kind of like nurturing something, doing things properly. This, this is a goal here. Um, this is also someone who it looks like you do have some sort of... Um, history with this person or you guys you've been connected to this person for a while here and they are looking at how far you guys have come they're looking at how much they've invested there's this energy of really looking at something and wanting to do more wanting to better something wanting to make something stretch so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the ace of cups water energy the chariot cancer energy and the six of wands fire energy 
Okay, so yeah, it looks like someone wants to um, offer you more. Like they want to offer you a cup here. Um, they have feelings they want to express. They want to pour out here. There's also this this view of you uh, potentially having... Um, it's like they're seeing you as someone who may have uh, the potential to have another option or have love elsewhere. So there's this feeling of being kind of motivated by the desire to protect what they've already built with you. You know, this is someone who, um, in the back of their mind, there's a fear of losing you. With the seven of wands, they feel like they need to fight for you or defend their territory. And so it's, it's like they, there's, they're seeing you as very independent and you're quite a catch here. And with the Ace of Cups, it's like they are wondering if you are, you know, having another start elsewhere, if there's that potential there. So this person feels like they need to take some sort of action when it comes to you. Um, things between you and this person in the past may have been moving very slowly with the Seven of Pentacles. But with the Chariot, they're quite determined here. There is a desire to pursue here. It's like they, they feel like they need to take action when it comes to you. They may want to do something quite public with the Six of Wands. It's like they want to... They could be giving you praise or, you know, they could be wanting to make something known to the public or to other people, like claiming you in some way, because this is someone who looks like there's a fear that they could be losing you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Sagittarius. Okay, we have nothing will come of this situation void of course boon okay so this could be someone who you're currently kind of it's like you're not too focused on this person you're showing up as very independent so you may have felt like dealing with this person things were moving too slowly or you and them were you, you guys struggled to get on the same page in the past but it's like by shifting your focus here being that nine of pentacles energy i'm seeing you're dealing with someone who could be slightly territorial over you and with this card um it doesn't look like you know, you may you may not want to give too much to this person because it, it, they may be motivated by, you know, this territorial energy rather than that loving energy. OK, so I'm going to plot another card for you, um, Sagittarius. Okay, we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so it looks like your love life has been moving slowly and it looks like it's something big is on the horizon for you it could be a new love that's coming in for you and someone can sense that you know with that king of wands energy it's like they're gonna kind of pursue you more because there's this feeling of you about to have some sort of new beginning in love here and they are looking at how much you know you guys have built together in the past year Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, we have Lily, Majesty and Virtue. The lily is the emblem rare of many virtues, good and rare. So you are being seen as someone who is valuable. You're being seen as rare. You are being seen as quite a catch. It's like someone knows this about you. And, you know, it's almost like this person where they had an opportunity with you, they could have wasted it. And now they feel like, um, you know, someone else could be, you know, getting that chance with you. And it's like they want to stop that or they, they want to prevent some sort of an ending or, or you moving on. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. We have surrender your comparisons 
Surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. So there's definitely an energy of doing what's best for you here. Being in that nine of pentacles energy, you know, really focusing on your yourself, your own strengths, your attractiveness. It looks like you are, you know, shining, you're radiating right now. Um, so there, there's definitely an energy of continuing that energy here. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.